right, so a team looking in a basement in, Min in the Mississippi courthouse, they say that they've uncovered a unserved warrant for the white woman who initiated the hunt that led to the death of Emmett Till. The warrant was for Carolyn Bryant Donham, who was identified as Miss Roy Bryant in the document. The 1955 document was in a file folder that had been placed in a box. The Emmett Till Legacy Foundation includes two Till family members. They want police to use the warrant to arrest Donham, who was married to one of the men who were tried and found not guilty in the murder of Till. Carolyn Bryant Donham is 88 years old and lives in North Carolina. Uh, this is a story that a lot of people, black people especially, feel a very certain way about. Um, doesn't really care about our age. None of that matters. We have so many black Americans that we talk about day in and day out um, that are get, that have served time that they didn't even deserve to be there. Um, they come out of jail 80, 90 years old. The justice system uh, did not care about those people being there, did not care about their age, did not care about their health. So I don't think that we should be giving a two cents about how old she is or, or anything for that matter. No, I agree. Um, the Here's the thing. Why are we just now finding this? Mm. And the family, it says it was family members and relatives uh, of the uh, Lewis, the Emmett Till Legacy Foundation. Mm -hmm. So what happened to the federal investigators? Right. What happened to the state investigators over the last 67 years? Uh, no one could find this. And then when the warrant, the arrest warrant, arrest warrant was initially served, they didn't want to serve it because they said uh, they didn't want to arrest this woman with two small children. Mm -hmm. They don't care right. if it were us. You yeah. know, right. they will break our homes up, take Absolutely. out uh, our fathers and our brothers and our mothers and, like you said, wrongfully convict us yes. and then don't want to pay us later on, mm -hmm. make up rules as to why they don't have to pay us. Yes. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Um, we see that they arrest Nazis. You know, mm -hmm. that if you did something in the Holocaust, yeah, we saw that. they'll come and arrest you. They arrested a man in Germany who was 101 years old for his role yeah. in the Holocaust. So yes. she's what, in her 80s? In her 80s. And you think about just black people alone, man. Who had the audacity to take this and just not even rip it up, burn it. They just piled it and stored it away to be found decades later. Mm -hmm. A life was lost. This changed a part of history that we can never take back. You know what I'm saying? For, uh, for, for decades, we'll be talking about the history of what his family went through. And we still deal with this today. So the fact that this is coming to light just goes to show you things would not stay hidden. They would not stay in the dark forever. And when they do, you have to suffer the repercussions from this. And she's 88, and she needs to do some time. Behind she her. sure does. Uh, you know, I'm going to say something that may be a little controversial. Okay. But uh, if we can arrest Bill Cosby. Oh, I was later for whatever happened before yeah. 50 years or whatever however long it will mm -hmm. maybe we can arrest someone for murder there we go